Enjoy your Zoa. Who broke the most stuff on set during fight scenes? Definitely DJ did. He's quite literally a, a bull at a china shop. Gal, yeah, she's just elegant. And my fighting style is just chicken I uh, cut my toe when I did the kick. Oh, yeah. I cut my toe, ooh -hoo. Yeah, no, it's not too bad at all. All of us equally, we really went at it. I would give the slight advantage to me because between the three of us, I've broken more hearts. You know what I'm saying. You're under arrest. Oh my God, read the room. Who's the better dancer, Dwayne or Gall? I was shocked at how deft and light on his feet Dwayne was. I kept on telling DJ, we gotta practice, we gotta make sure we have this, like we gotta rehearse. He was so cool and kept on saying, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. And I was like, no, you don't understand, my toes, we gotta practice. She was afraid at first that I was just gonna be a lunky dancer and like crush her feet like she was dancing with a buffalo. Little she knew. She was dancing with a man who dances like butter, smooth as butter. So her feet were fine. It was her heart that was in trouble, you know. There's a lot of cheese. There's a lot of cheese on these, uh, on these pizzas that I'm serving up here in this interview. How does it feel to beat up Dwayne Johnson? Awesome, great, it's fun. How does it feel to watch Dwayne Johnson get beat up? <laughs> you know what? Uh, if I could have that sequence played at my funeral, I'd be a, I would have died a happy man. Are you not entertained? Who was the funniest when the cameras were off? Ryan. Ryan. He really enjoys it too. You look awful. They might say me, but that's not necessarily true. I find that like DJ, he'll do this thing where his like eye twitches a little bit or something, like when he's trying not to break, and that kills me. Are you kidding me? Ryan, of course, is the easy answer because he's very, very funny. See? Easy peasy. So is Dwayne, but I, I would say Gal. Hello, boys. She's so charming, and she's so funny, and she's so willing to uh, laugh at herself that I think she kept people uh, smiling uh, more than anybody. You know, there was an easier way in, but I doubt very much that you could have managed it. What's something you learned about your castmate while filming Red Notice? I have not known any other actor in Hollywood longer than I've known Ryan Reynolds. We've, we've started our career together. I had the Scorpion King come out. He had Van Wilder come out. We were crisscrossing promotions. We wound up in Cancun on MTV Spring Break promoting our movies. We're like an old couple who we bicker and fight, and of course we love and respect each other. We're work-wise. We're not work-wise. We're sister-wise. We're not any kind of wise. Dwayne has gotten more vulnerable now, in a good way. I don't mean vulnerable like if you hit him as hard as you can in the Achilles, he will go down, which is true, he will. It's more that he's just a little bit more cracked open, I think, in life, and it works really well for him. He has so many sneakers, racks and racks and stacks and stacks of sneakers, and when he shared this with me, I looked at him and I said, man, you know, I gotta tell you, I couldn't give a any more than right now in this moment with the information you're telling me. And if you ever waste my time again with your obsession with sneakers. 